Hello, my name is Frank Caputo. I'm one of the vascular surgeons at the Cleveland Clinic here at Cleveland Clinic, Ohio. I'm going to share some of our recent experience we've had at the Cleveland Clinic using a novel image guiding technology that has allowed us to do certain interventional tasks entirely without radiation. Here are our disclaimers and disclosures. We all know that as we do more and more complex aortic interventions, we risk higher radiation exposure to both patients and practitioners. But there is hope, and that is the whole theme of this session. I'm going to share about the combination of artist phenol low dose imaging with an emerging technology called IOPS that brings in a new modality of navigation without radiation. Centerline Biomedical is a company that spun out a Cleveland clinic with a system called IOPS. It is an adjective fluoroscopy that uses electromagnetic track. Here you can see it is being set up alongside our artist female. There's a mobile cart and a tracking system that attaches to the table, making it very user-friendly and adaptable to other systems. We use the Fino's EVAR 3D guidance for low-dose imaging. This patient presented with a dissection extending to the celiac SMA common origin with complaints of abdominal pain. The intention was to cannulate that common origin and assess the flap with iris to determine whether the patient needed a stent and whether or not the flap was dynamic or not. When we got the patient in the room, we attached a fiducial patch needed by adults to the patient's lower back. This patch compensates for any patient's movement during the procedure, negating the need to re-register if original patient position is compromised. It is self-adhesive and removed after the case. We left it to apply it here after anesthesia was induced. We then proceeded to do a dynasty that would be both used by the EVAR 3D guidance as well as IOPS. The dynasty T spin was co aligned with the pre op CTA. This was done twice once with a Siemens system and once on the IOPS system. This patient had a prior repair, which served as a fiducial for this purpose. In the absence of prior repairs, we generally find spots of calcified plaque or bony anatomic landmarks, which can be used as anatomic. And this is what the IOPS screen looks like. You can see a structural map of the aorta and the branches from multiple views at a time, and it's all customizable. So you can really appreciate the 3D structures that you're navigating. And these are the IOPS sterile devices. There are two different shaped catheters currently, one shaped like a multi-purpose catheter and one shaped like a Simmons. We also have an 035 guide wire that is also have sensors in it. They have sensors in them that allow navigation on the IOP screen without radiation. So we first try with the IOPS multi-purpose type catheter. The white marker to, there is our guide wire tip. After we had already navigated the wire up past the mesenteric vessels, we advanced the catheter and then we tracked the wire to attempt the cannulation. As you can see here, the angle was not quite right. So we decided to put the IOS catheter through a tour guide deflectible sheath. The control of the steerable combined with the 3D of IOS was a really powerful match. You can watch it here in real time. We were able to target the branch and cannulate it in just a few seconds. Being able to see from both the right lateral and an oblique angle at the same time that we could be very directed with the devices. As you can see, we essentially cannulated the branch on the first try and we were able to advance the wire almost to the first branch of the SMA, and also we're able to follow it with the catheter very easily. IOPS is an adjunct to fluoro, so we confirmed with angiography, but this was really a minimal amount of radiation in contrast. We did the entire cannulation on the previous slide without stepping on the pedal. As we mentioned, we got our iris probe in and we noticed and assessed the dynamic aspect of the flap and decided against stenting due to the fact that it was not dynamic at all. We did further attempt cannulation of the celiac branch of this shared origin. Again, the 3D view with IOPS and the control of the tour guide made it a very straightforward task. Advancing both the wire as well as the catheter.
as with the SMA branch, we verify with a contrast injection as we had not used imaging during the cannulation. To conclude, we know that radiation is a concern and we want to do whatever we can do to minimize it for ourselves and our patients. In aortic interventions, cannulating branch vessels can eat up a lot of time, radiation dose and contrast. Our early experience with IOS, particularly when used with a deflectible sheath, is that it can really simplify this complex task while not requiring continuous fluoro. We believe that as we move forward, we will find that the combination of low dose imaging with 3D electromagnetic navigation for cannulations can help us bring aortic procedures to the lowest radiation doses possible. We are continuing to study this combination at the Cleveland Clinic. Thank you, and I look forward to any questions.